Right now, McMaster is one of the best universities in Canada. One of the real strengths of our program is the faculty has been really investing a lot in increasing our students' exposure to hands-on experiences. My name is Liz Hassan and I'm an assistant professor in mechanical engineering. Every year I have my students build a robot and I never let them use wheels because it's a way of forcing them to think really differently about transmissions and, and rotary power. It looks like a very, very simple robot and it is, but the nice thing about it is that all at once you learn about power transmission, you learn about friction, you learn about leverage. The challenge, though, is that a term is only 12 weeks long, so it's quite a tight time frame to be able to design something from start to finish. And so having access to the array technology is really useful because it allowed us to squeeze in one more iteration cycle, one more design build test cycle. And that's really positive because students are able to learn from their test results and incorporate that feedback into a new and improved prototype and learn from that experience rather than just kind of handing something in at the end of term and not really knowing how it turns out. My name is John Kohlenbrander. I'm the Facilities Manager for the Department of Mechanical Engineering. We've been working with our students, whether it's on research or on the undergrad space, to help them have access to 3D printing as much as possible. But that process really breaks down quickly when we have a, a full class of students who all need to print at or around the same time. What I am so impressed with with the Array product is to be able to say, okay, everybody have your parts in on Friday at noon, and on Monday at noon, we'll, we'll have the parts ready for you. The, this idea of having the printer whole ecosystem manage most of those pain points is really quite powerful and transformative in terms of how our profs can deliver classes and design training. Whether it's on our end, on the, the processing side of things, a cloud-based solution that the students can log into and drop a file for printing, and then storing all the parts so that it's not just a single print. You can have the thing running for days, even depending on the parts you're printing. Freeing up the technical staff or the TAs to be able to do other more meaningful direct to the student activities. It really opens up new possibilities in terms of the timing and frequency of our work. And so maybe we can even get to three iteration cycles in a term, or you know, maybe we can have projects that have a larger material budget. And so we can have maybe more sophisticated mechanisms and things like that. We're only going to see more fabrication work and more hands-on work. That's the trajectory that we're on, and I think that it's a very positive one.